Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change the battery in your Mazda key fob. Uh, I happen to own a 2015 Mazda 6 and the batteries went bad and so um, the doors won't open or anything with the key fob just in my pocket. You have to take it out and uh, take the key out and use it that way to open the door. And so it's a sure sign that the batteries are dead. Plus the light doesn't come on when you push the button, um, the little red light on there. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to replace the battery. It's really simple. So first you want to buy some batteries and this takes the CR2025. And there's a variety of brands out there. I just got the Energizer brand and they have these at Walmart. They have a, like at my Walmart, they have like a battery section with a whole slew of batteries. At first I checked where the watches were and they didn't have the batteries over there. But then I found out where the uh, main rack of just normal standard batteries were and they had these there. So that's all you need. This is like a watch battery, but it's used in a few other things as well, like the fobs. All right. And so we're just gonna open this up. Okay, those are my two brand new batteries right there. And now you need to open up the fob. So if I push on this, you probably can't see, there is a little light right here that's supposed to come on and it doesn't come on. And so what we're gonna do is you are gonna open up and take out the actual key. And so there's a little, little kind of a lever type thing. Um, it's not really a lever, lever, but you just take your thumb or finger now and just push down on it and you can pull the key right out. I want to note that even though the fob, fob doesn't work, if you take the key out, you can still unlock the door and the car will still start. Okay, even if the fob battery is dead, the car will start. And uh, there you go. So you take that out. And now we want to uh, remove this part. And I just have my little Leatherman tool, but just get a flathead screwdriver. And then just come in the sides here or on the inside and just kind of twist a little bit. On the other side, just twist. I'm gonna come in on the side here. And just, you'll hear that little pop, which is good. And then it'll come right out like that. Okay. And then this is where the battery is. So just take this out. And there is the battery. I used the Rayovac before brand a CR2025. Take this battery out and then put the new battery in, just face down like this. And then take this and put it back on. Okay, and that kind of holds the battery in place. And then we will take the back and you're just gonna snap it in place. Just push down and it'll snap right in place Like that. And then just put the key back in. There you go. And if you push on the buttons, see there's a little red light that came on. I can hear my car, do you hear that? <laughs> I don't know if you heard it, but even from inside my house, it'll still unlock the car, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, anyway. And that is how you change the battery in your Mazda key fob. I'm Matt Taylor, and this is my variety channel. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care.